One thing that people love to say about creators or celebs that seem to come out of nowhere is they're an industry plan. Th th this guy I've never heard of, he, he released an album that's number one, number one on the chart. Industry plans. Th this YouTuber lives out of a caravan and she gets like 2 million views a video despite 10,000 subs. Industry plans. Now, the problem is there are actually a lot of industry plants in music, in YouTube. You have these people that just come from absolutely nowhere. But because everyone likes to point the finger and say, this person I don't like is an industry plant, uh, that, that parasitical guy. His Cruelty Squad video got, got 5 mil in a week. Industry plant. Industry, obviously an industry plant. But one creator I would like to present to you today is Bobby Althoff. Now, originally she was an influencer and TikToker, and then she turned into a podcast host. Now, you can see her channel here, uh, just under 500,000 subscribers, nine videos, so she must have some bangers. So in episode one, she's got the actor Rick Glassman. In episode two, she's got Funny Marco. In episode three, she's got Armani White. Again, these are all like, you know, kind of known people. Episode four, we got Drake. We have Drake in the podcast, uh, apparently coming out of nowhere. The the fourth episode, she's got Drake. Hi guys, welcome to the Really Good Podcast um, with your host, Bobby Althoff. Today I'm here with, can you introduce yourself? Drake. That's not your name. It, that is my middle name. Yeah. That's not your real name. That's my government name, middle name. Why would you go by that? What's your first name? My first name is Aubrey. Mm -hmm. I see where you go with that. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. So a lot of people did start to point the finger and say, you've started a podcast out of nowhere. And by the fourth episode, you have Drake on, who is basically the single most influential person in music at the minute. I, I know a lot of people are going to go, Lamau, but listen, bro, like like Blade Echo 2K, I know you like him. I do as well, but they're not. They're not anywhere near as relevant as Drake. Drake making such amazing songs like uh, Tootsie Slide. You remember that song? That song that he basically just tried to force into a TikTok meme and it just never took off. And then you can see a TikTok here, which has around 5 million followers. Like in her most recent episodes, she's got Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban from Shark Tank, who is like a literal billionaire. Now, if you're wondering what an industry plant actually means, it's basically, well, it pretty much explains itself. It's someone who's meticulously planted within the industry, usually from like nepotism or something. And then nepotism meaning, I'm just going to pull it up on Google because I don't want to get proven wrong on this. The practice among those with power or influence of favoring relatives, friends or associates, especially by giving them jobs. Now, nepotism is rife in pretty much any industry, like especially Hollywood. For example, do you remember the film Tenet? The actor that played the protagonist, the literal protagonist, he's called the protagonist, is John David Washington, which is Denzel Washington's son. There's even been multiple articles about this, just basically saying how to get into most industries now, you've got to be a Nepo baby. You, your dad or your mom needs to already be working in the industry to pick you up so you can jump the queue and get straight in. I think at one point you even had the Game of Thrones star uh, that she was talking about creating an app to fight nepotism. I'd probably do the same thing if I fell off as well. But never fear, guys, we've got the Reddit detectives on the case. Like this TikToker who actually did a deep dive investigation to see if Bobby is actually an industry plant. Did this one seemingly come out of nowhere for you? It feels like she just spawned out of nowhere. Well, you're not alone. People throughout the internet are spike. I, I, I like how he looks exactly like the guy that would that would call her a Nepo baby. Speculating if Bobby Altoff is the first ever podcast industry plant, which by the way, I do believe in the concept of industry plants. I want that on the record. Industry plants are running amongst us. Bobby Altoff is the first ever podcast industry plant. And again, I was only talking about Hollywood and stuff regarding industry plants, but here's another YouTuber as well, Janella Elena. And a lot of people thought that she was an industry plant because she came out of absolutely nowhere, nowhere. And then the first video, 11 million, 18 million, 5 million. I mean, kind of trailed off a little bit. But for the first video to get such insane views instantly, a lot of people really thought that she was an industry plant because again, it's such like wholesome content. Oh, she's living out of her van. Oh. She even has the same kind of editing style as Emma Chamberlain, but the thing is Emma Chamberlain actually built her own career after uh, she dated the Dolan Twins and got all their clout. The short answer on if Bobby Altoff is a podcast industry plan is no. <laughs> what, what, why is the caption Bobby was referring to her uneven breasts? Like you, you couldn't have you couldn't have cropped that out when making this video. This woman has been on TikTok for a while. She's been going viral on TikTok for a while since 2020 specifically on mom TikTok. Now, I do want to say this is completely true. 
So you can see going through Bobby's page, a lot of it is just the podcasts, but then eventually it bleeds into her own content. Now, one thing I do want to point out, despite her blowing up in 2020 and having 5 million followers, which is insane, she hasn't actually posted a lot of content. A lot of her content just seems to be like, I'm pregnant, Lamau. All right, someone's going to whack off to that. <clears throat> but even in her earlier TikToks, you can still see her meeting, you know, already famous people like Michael Bublé. I mean, Michael Bublé isn't anywhere near as famous as he was like 10 years ago, but he's still an incredibly relevant Canadian artist. Security guards already been told to stand down as well. Like it's already staged and stuff. <laughs> So that was the first TikTok she posted, and it, it really does make you think, like, if she's not a plant, anyone can be famous. Because, like, like you eat a banana, do a mid-dance, apparently that's enough. So it seems that her TikTok, for the most part, was just, like, pregnancy memes, they relatable. I mean, not for Generation Alpha, let's be fair, no one's having kids anymore. Jesus, she had kids at 25, though. Here's an article written back in April or May, I think, that is talking about how she has 3.6 million followers on TikTok. This was way before any of the stuff with Drake or any of those interviews. She's gone viral a bunch of times with her husband and other mom TikTok stuff. You know, I'm not on that side of TikTok. But to say that she was a plant is wrong. It's not like she spawned out of nowhere. Now, after she blew up on mom TikTok at some- I mean, that's not really saying that she isn't a plant. You're just saying that she blew up before the podcast. So how can she be a plant? Well, I mean, unless she's gaming the algorithm of like pregnancy TikTok, I guess. Point, she got signed by WME. Getting signed by WME is like getting into Harvard or getting an investment banking job with Goldman Sachs uh... out of college. Like, you're set. That doesn't mean you don't have to be funny, you don't have to work hard and whatnot, but WME opens up a lot of doors. Now, what I assume is because they're a talent agency, they help their people that are within their- Right, that makes sense. So what happened is she signed with like a very exclusive talent agency. WME agency, that's not it. Oh no, this is it. Right, what have you, what do you got? What do you got? What have you got? Jesus. So looking on their website, WME, they have loads. They've got Dixon Talent, Turkish Airlines, Endeavor, IMG, Freeze, UFC. So overall, is Bobby Althoff an industry plan? Currently, the findings are inconclusive, but uh, I will conduct an experiment on my TikTok. I will start doing very mid dances, shaking my ass to the camera. And if they don't get 1 million views per video and I don't get 5 million followers, I will then conclude that she is indeed an industry plan.